Hello, welcome to Tina Talk Show. It's me, your host, Adama Chiku. Thank you so much, audience. If this is your first time of coming to Tina Talk Show, it's a pleasure to have you. And if you are a returning guest, I want to say it's always a pleasure to see you continue to come and support me on this platform. As always, Tina Talk Show is a platform that is dedicated for you to come and share those your amazing story. Because I personally do believe that the you know who we have become today, the beauty of it is a story behind it. When we share this, we're encouraging someone. This is sometime in life we can see some, some people demotivated, uninspired. But you know what? Your story might just be what they need in order to go on and fulfill their purpose. I also personally do believe that the greatest legacy that we can pass on to anyone, our children, our family, the society, everyone that comes around us is the legacy of experience knowledge wisdom that we have gained that life has taught us when we pass it this on to anybody that is what will motivate them encourage them empower them to go on and fulfill their purpose and listen this is exactly what my next guest all the way from Nigeria. He's a Nigerian based, he's an international music artist by the name I sent. He would come up to share his amazing journey with us, how he become I sent that you hear about him today. He's gonna to be sharing his amazing story, how he became. But before that, let's take a break. Thank you so much, Ernie. Thank you for that, uh, you know, for coming back, for staying tuned. As always, I like to give you a glimpse of who I'm talking about. Like I said before, he's, he's an international music artist based in Nigeria, all over the world, doing what he does best. But I'm going to give you a glimpse so you can see who, you know, just a, a glimpse of who I'm talking about. Okay, one second. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Nation. Aousa. Chocolobi, OP. GOP. Chocolobi, OP. GOP. Many girls are the sea for your area. You be VIP, I'm on you, no be regular. Okay, audience, you have seen who will be coming up the way from Nigeria right now. I can't wait to bring him up so we can understand this amazing artist and his story. Take a look. Hello, hi, hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, 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 I'm doing okay, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure having you come to the Tina Talk Show. I know as I sense as a music artist, you are very busy out there doing what you do best, but you have created this time to come and uh, be with us to play your amazing story. So thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. As always, you know, Tina Talk Show is a platform that allows you to kind of share um, your story, you know, people to understand uh, why you do why you do, or what you do. And, um, they, you know, they need to know that you didn't just get to where you are, but there was some beautiful stories that lies in who you are today. So that is what we're going to be exploring. And before we go down to it, I would like you to introduce yourself to the audience. Okay. Hello. 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 What uh -huh. are you doing? I go by the name I sent and I hear from Oromia, those states. I'm a Nigerian. I'm a European-based artist and I'm, 
an Afrobeat artist. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I need to correct myself here. A Europe, Europe based artist. Yes. I remember when I had the privilege to speak with you, you are like in and out, right? Yeah, you're not, no. you're in and out. Okay, in and out. So yes. I wasn't sure which one to pick from, you know. <laughs> so, thank you for uh, for clarifying, clarifying that. Great, great. Um, as always, I said, I always there's this part of our stories in life that I always like to look into, which is, um, how did we grow up? Do you have brothers, sisters? You know, of course, mm -hmm. of course, I have, I have, uh, uh. We're eight in numbers. I have seven siblings, and I'm the last of them. So you are the last. Yes, I'm the last boy. Interesting. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. so if I say that, uh, of course, the last but not the least, obviously, mm -hmm. not the least. So tell us. I'm interested to know. Being being the last, but not the least. How was it being in that position, in that be, be, being the baby of the house? Was, were there challenges? Did they, course, did they not yes. knock you, punk your head? Uh, of uh, course, uh, of course. <laughs> Tell us. There was, a, there was a whole lot of challenges being the last one. Again, I, again I, get, I, I gained a lot of privileges from my mom because mm. yeah, you, can, you can't possibly touch the anointed because I'm the anointed one. <laughs> really? Oh, amazing. So, but, but that 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 being said, I, I had the opportunity to to be with my sisters. I grew up with my sister and my mom, and uh, my two sisters. So we, we had an amazing time together, and uh, it, that taught me a lot that I ha I know today because I was I was actually I would let me say I was groomed <laughs> to be a good a good a good kind of boy that I am. Today. Aww. <laughs> The anointed one. I'm sure they're all anointed, you know, but there's something again, there's always something special about the last one, you know. Uh, uh mom wouldn't want nobody to touch you, you know. Amazing. Right. Yes, um that you know, thank you so much so far for sharing that. Um now another thing we want to know, and I think a lot of your fans want to understand is what kind of life would you live growing up? You know, because we all have different different way we've grown up we struggle some had it all going privileges tell me what was your you know your time like growing up it was rough it was really tough it was not it mm. was not it, I, I wasn't born with, uh, with a silver spoon or golden spoon mm. so it was we were, we were let, let's say i don't i don't know if we say we're we're so poor but i know that it, life was really difficult and yeah. and but but with God's grace and mom's hard work, it, it, was, mm. it, it became uh, a good a good a good one for all of us. Mom made sure that every one of us went to school. Fine. And, yes, we went to school. We had to we had to do farming. We have to do a whole lot. Like I literally I literally sold firewood in the morning before going to school. I had to uh, hawk some stuff. So it it. it it was an amazing experience at the same time it actually taught me and made me the stronger person that i am today so that's that's it you, you, life was amazing that sweet. thank you <laughs> guys guys have you heard that he sold firewood mm -hmm. we will hop on the streets who we ever thought that this amazing artist today i sent hawk on the street and from what you've said people do those that were your journey it taught you a lot. You learn a lot in that process. Right. In that knowledge that uh, you've gathered in that process really kept you going. Farming yeah. and all that. So was was farming part of as um, not having a choice but to farm or was it something you did out of passion? No, no. At that time, that was... That, that at was that time. Passion. That wasn't the problem. You must have to farm to feed. So yeah. we, we need to go to farm. We need to plant. We need to plant our crops. We need to harvest our corns, our yam, and all that. Sell some and make cassava, make gari. So it, it, it's something. Do you, know, you, know, you, do you know how to fry gari? <laughs> ah, of course now. I'll show you one try. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up. <laughs> so yeah. you, you, know, yeah. you know, you know how to fry. Yeah. How to yeah. how to turn up. At that time, is is not enough, enough for all of us to. Um, have to pay the cassava. So I have friends. We have friends that in the neighborhood that 
is 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 a good thing for us to go meet up at that uh, that place where we can go in the cassava. So we all line up and take our cassava oh. there. They will have a time to play because we are there to grant cassava. So till only gets to your turn, you just have time. We have to plop them. And have time and to, to play around. So, oh. ah, so it was not it was not a normal thing for us. So it's not like uh, we're suffering. It's just not a normal thing. So we're just oh. living a day to day activity life. So yeah. that was it. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, what we, what we, we look, we think as suffering is actually training. It's actually something that, mm. that has. If we look back, you know, personally, I did, I did sell firewood. Apparently, mm. I did sell firewood, and I, I hold granite, banana on the streets, you know, oranges. You know? So I can literally relate with you. But you see, all those journey. They may be stronger today. You know, they may be stronger today. So audience, why did we just share this bit with you? We share this bit with you so that you know that whatever it is maybe at this moment you are going through, don't look at it as a problem, but look at it as a preparation to where you are going for the future. Thank you so much, I sent so far um, for sharing that part, even though it sounds tough, but there were so many lessons to to uh, to learn from that. Now, your farming, you didn't just stop after you know you've grown up and said, you know what, farming, I don't want to farm anymore. You but know, you continue, but you continue to farm. True, because it has always been part of me. To mm. my, my 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 main aim in life is to share my own people who. Are, Actually, at the same time, because I we all with the mutual economy needs, we all are still having to survive. Mm. So, I have it has always been me and make food out for people to actually make food from just so I can I can be able to pay people for a living to get so that's how I went into family. I yes, I went into family. Uh, it's been like a year now. Wow! Since uh, the Ice Nation Farm uh, started, and so far so good. We're selling and we're we're growing. Amazing! I think I need to copy that idea. It's good. It's a great thing. Yeah. So, what do you what 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 do you produce? What do you produce? I uh, produce uh, cucumber, uh, sweet corn, and some uh, boilers. We raise some chickens, and. For now, that's what that's what we're doing. So where where where, where is this farming? Is it in uh, it, where? Is it is, is in Lagos, Ebe? Uh, in, uh, if it was in Benin, because I know I'm definitely <laughs> going to be in Benin. <laughs> okay, but, but but definitely I'll invite you when you when you get to Lagos. Just leave me, then we'll take you there. Because I will. By the grace of God, I'm coming down to Nigeria <laughs> this year. Very soon, very soon. I want to say it on okay. camera now. I'll be in Nigeria okay. very soon. Yeah. Because I know I would love, I would love to have corn. I would love to have cucumber. Definitely, uh, I don't eat much of chicken when I come to Nigeria because I eat so much mm -hmm. here. I eat so yes. much here. Mm -hmm. So when I come to Nigeria, I like to eat bush meat. I like to eat snail. I like to eat all a uh, 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 point and kill. You know, you know point and kill now. <laughs> Of course, important one. <laughs> <laughs> the important one, amazing. Well done. I mean, it is it's, it's very. Now, how are you able? Because some people right now, listeners, how is he able to manage being in, you know, having a business? Because that's a business. You have a business back home in Nigeria and you are also in Europe. How are you able to manage? these two business together your music career and also um you know uh, in both worlds african and, and europe how are you able to do that it's not it's not easy like i said it's not it's not easy but the, the determination i have mm. regarding to what i want to achieve is what keeps me going so i wow. I, I tend to put myself in those range that, okay this is the time for harvest or this is time for plantation and this mm. is the time i have to do my project on my sound this is when i'm recording this is when i'm shooting and this is when i'm supposed to be publishing my sound so i put them all, all together i just i just draft myself like literally every day i'm busy wow. like as i'm talking to you now 
if you check to, through the car, we have our luggage here. I have a show tonight, a time out with Icent and, and at Beer Band Lagos today. And tomorrow I have a, um, a farming uh, uh, visit with my workers. And a day after tomorrow, I'm flying down to Turkey for a show. And from there, I have my accent era coming up in Turkey. And I then again, like, Everything has just been scheduled, so wow. I just put them all in place. We've been busy, like yesterday we were out, and today, so it's not easy, but this is what I want to do. So I yes. have to put it in place. So I just exactly. have to make sure I find a way out. So when you called me up, like, okay, we should do, we should do this. I it's a busy day for me. I'm still going to go to the barber shop right now. That's why I'm never taking on my glasses. So I'm still going to go to the barber shop right now. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You mean the way you look? This way you find rich. Eh? <laughs> this way you find rich. You still need to go baba. What, what, what do you want to do? I hope they're not shaving the beard though. Eh? <laughs> well, I hope they're not shaving this one. Because, because yeah, you look good already. Audience, what do you think? Don't you think? Look at it. I haven't been to baba. Looking like this. So this is uh, it. That, that's, that's it. So we uh, like I needed to, so we're already in the car. I'm mm. a team. We're heading there. Mm. We're heading there right now. Oh. The camera people are there. The people making arrangement for the for this place mm. we're using today. They're already there. So it's all up. I just have to make sure I provide this time mm. because this is part yeah. of me. I'm trying to mm. tell my myself, sell myself to the world. I want people who are following me know the reason why they're following me. So I have to take time yes. out for this. Everything is important in my life. Mm. So Amazing. Is. You such an inspiration. Honestly, you such an inspiration. You know what I love about you? Uh, the fact that your passion, you know, um, you do your music and you also follow something that you also it looks like you've got so many passion and and as 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 um how do I say they are both important to you, you know, the one that you learn along the way in life and the one that you found along the way in life. You make sure that you create time for the audience. As you can see, everything is possible. Everything is possible only if you set your mind to it. If you are determined, you can juggle. You can juggle 10 balls in your hand. You know, and by the special grace of God, um, you know, you, you are doing it. You are such an inspiration. Trust me. Thank you so much so far for sharing that amazing uh part of you with us because i always say when we when we share our stories like this we're encouraging somebody we we, we, are, we are learning and also we are healing we are affirming what we are doing at the same time now another thing i want to look at with you is this um the the the, 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 the music what kind of music do you do first of all what kind of music i do, do i do I do have a fusion and a little bit of dance hall. And oh. So this, these are the few things I do right now. There's a whole lot of gear of sounds that I want to venture into. But at this point, I think I want to find more uh, connecting both, not just home, mm. but also internet, you know, people. Mm, amazing. Amazing. Now, um, one second. Now, I... I there's something about you. There's something that I, you know, I had opportunity the other time that I, you know, gathered some information about you because I wanted the audience, your, uh, sorry, your fans, to really get a, a, you know, a glimpse of who you are, which you're already sharing with us. You know, people found find their passion or their purpose in so many ways. Um, sometimes we don't even know what we are called to do we don't even know what we're passionate about or we don't know how to go into it until even sometimes there are handwriters on the wall and we don't see it until somebody say hey you know you can do this you know you are good at that so you actually from you know what i gathered from your you know story you share with me previously is that you found music in a most profound and unique way which was friends actually um seeing you sing maybe and they say you know you can do that you talked about a uh, touch my soul and was touch my soul your first ever music like my, my what, first was it like ever. a try out for you? you you tried with that one 
Yes, it was my first was was my first ever song. Ever. Wow. Wow. Um, let, let, let me give the, the audience opportunity, the fans opportunity to listen to it and then we talk more. Okay. Maybe. It's your boy, I sent, I sent, I got Mr. Brave on this one. <laughs> Baby, you don't touch my soul, no. I see the rule, I'm only trapped. The way you the way that thing really make bad man go low. I'm only trapped. You didn't make me the dance, boo, you could do. I know good life for sure, you could do. Baby, girl, you bust up my brain, girl. Girl, I'ma rock you tonight, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Let me rock you tonight yeah. Baby, you're hey. my number one The only one that I ever want You're the queen of my dreams Hope you understand that I've been thinking of you all day, all night Can't wait the Oh, yes that, that, That's amazing uh, I sent It's a nice track Obviously, you can Watch the full song On his social media platform On YouTube You can find and watch His first ever Touch my soul them. Now, yes. what inspired you to sing this song? What inspired you? I was in love. Oh, you were love. in love. I was in love. You were in love. Tell us about this love, love, love verse. Yeah, yeah, I was in love. So then I was just like, ah, oh, there's this babe, I shall want, I shall want to tell her sweet, sweet things. And I want her to know that. Okay, it's just like, you look at time now, so it's just like, I want to play this band. I mean, I mean, I can sing, I can do stuff like this. So maybe she can choose for me. Well, auntie mm. still don't look. Auntie still didn't look my way, sure. <laughs> mm. Wow. They all ended that way. Yes, it was an amazing time. Yeah, amazing. Now, what, 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 what did your parents, this Maria, now that you've decided to go into? What did they say about you? Your, your your brothers and sisters, your mom and dad, because you know sometimes they want us to be doctors. Or, business uh, in the like you know my mom, right from right from right, right from what i was literally my mom has always been supportive so wow. she always support whatever it is that i, I, I Amen. Do. and she That's doesn't want me she just don't want me to be in trouble so she always asks mm -hmm. are you okay with what you're doing are you fine so i just tell her oh mom, see, i like this thing like this oh. and my mom is a job out yes so funny enough. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> So, oh wow! She's, she's you have a witness. Yes, yes, she is. But and uh, and and she allow you to. How did she allow? How, how did you manage to to get her to accept you back with her like that? It wasn't easy, but mm. like 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 you like you know, um, it is what it is. So it is what yeah. I'm doing right now. This is what makes me happy. So she and she and she she's okay with it. Yeah, as long as you're out of trouble, that's as as long as I'm out of trouble. A mom, a mom that is very, very, uh, very consistent. And yeah, she knows I take my story serious. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Now, you know, from the beginning, you mentioned to us that you like both worlds, Africa and Europe. How, how convenient is this? You know, live here, live there, because I find it very fascinating, you know, that you're able to do that. Yes, uh, let's see. I mean, I mean, I'm, I, again, you know, how did you come to that decision? Uh, is it out, out of like, is the best out for you for now, or because you want to do your family? You know what I mean? Yes. Like, but me, okay, let's say this way you, you, the European industry is difficult to break through right now because mm. we don't actually have a full body of entertainment in Europe, no sponsor no 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 media uh, it's just it's just between the black community mm. when it comes to italy germany apart from uk because sweden um all these other places that we are saying so which is just the black community whatever you do remains within us it's, it remains mm. within just with the friends family and facebook or instagram associates so the, on, the only breakthrough we think well, I think I, I needed at this time was to get into the Nigerian market. So get mm. myself close, learn how the sound is. Uh, mm. The Afro, Afrobeat has been played everywhere. 
Like it can be in yeah. the mall, you hear the you hear Bonner Boys song playing, a whiskey song playing from G- we're back, we're back. The audience understands. <laughs> yeah, so okay. you, we, can, we can only get this done when you when you come to the market here, learn the mm. sound, learn their strategy, which is what I've been doing now. And at least if you hear my recent project, uh, it's about time. Uh, I said it's about time. It, it took a lot, but at the end of the day, it came out so nicely. I was opportune to be with some great talent, some uh, writers, uh, good producers, who automatically all together with works made that project a meaningful one. And everybody's talking about it and back in it. So if I was in Europe, the, the standard of that production of, of of the writing of those songs would definitely not be as what my only head can carry yeah. together. So it's just gonna be there. So this is the reason why I'm always in Nigeria trying to learn, understand the market, understand the, the new sound, get it done, say and and, and push my brand. And we have the media, we have people who are here who helps you uh, televise your 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 craft okay. if you have them. So this is how it's, that's why I go in. So I I do myself here. I take them and I take it back to Europe. I push, I push here. So I just want to I just want to be everywhere. Like, like is it? So, that's that's it. good. I mean, yeah. Our our people say um, in 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 Igbo language, they say "ada kofebe ekrimong." You don't stand, meaning you don't stand in one place to watch the masquerade. You have to go around. Right. You know, you have to go around yeah. that in order to make it. I mean, this is quite interesting because a lot of people will think that um, you can't make it in Nigeria. That is, is you know, you can't get your opportunity. You can't learn. But from the story, it's different experience that I can see that you have. You know, yeah. you, you, you are ready to learn how the market works, you know, found what is out there because it's more easier for you there personally than in uh, in europe um another thing i want to look at uh, quickly with you i remember when i was speaking with you uh, and again you've also mentioned about friends you know kind of encouraging you um but i want to know were there at some point where these friends who were like a backbone dropped off and if they did, how? What kept you going? Because sometimes yeah, have, you can put trust on friends to support you, and when they drop off, you can you can be all over the place. Mhm, mhm, true. Yes, I, I I had friends who were very close uh, with regards to music, and we had issues. At the end of the day, everybody goes their separate ways, and. There was a whole lot of people who supported me even when I started, and they were into music too. But as time goes on, I think we see ourselves as, as, as a competition. So we started having issues, maybe individual differences. I also have my problems. They have theirs. But at the end of the day, my passion is different because I see things differently. I know where I'm going. I'm a star, so I'm going through that direction. So nothing is stopping me. So even if we're not in good terms or we're in good terms, I just wish them well, wherever they are. So if they like, they wish me well. If they like, they don't. I'm a star. So yeah, that's yeah. it. So, so I like, it, it, I like that. The, the pressure, the, pre, the, 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 the bone of contention is that I have where I'm going and that's the road I'm headed. Exactly. What you have is what you need to keep yes. you going. Like only say, and even a big, if and a, big, and a big and a big shout out to my brother Uko Entertainment. He has been so supportive to get like we started mm-hmm. literally together same time. So he's been there, he's been there doing mm-hmm. everything, the ups and downs. Like he's been so supportive. And again, Fizzy, uh, another great guy. He's so 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 amazing. So these are people in my life right now that. Um, I can I cannot do without, and they also can do without. And because together we put things together, we put things in front. And I also have I also have some new groups that I'm working with. Like you see my guys in here in the car. I have Vibish, yeah, a great amazing guys. A vibish, a great time. Yeah, yeah. Can I say hello to the to, to the yes, fans? Yes, Vib- oh. Vibish, come say hello. Come say hello. This is a great talent, Vibish. Hello. He, he's an amazing, yeah. amazing writer, singer, and like. What have you? This is a great yeah. talent. And again, I have Quicker uh, Mikrest with me, the fat boy. Say hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hey, hello. hello. How are you? How are you doing? I'm 
fine and you i'm good you guys are looking cool over there it's good to have that uh, network support thank you for uh, being a squad supporting each yeah. other it's great great to meet you guys great to so meet together, you yeah. to, to, together yeah. together we were able to pull out the is about time ep they were very yeah. supportive they did amazing the, the, the energy was amazing so so this is this is it we just want positive people around because we have a place for going that's the most right. important thing amazing I, I'm, I'm so glad that you've got people backbones you know you work together as a team you learn you support each other to get to where you are going because that is the one thing about life is that as we keep going there are some people that have to drop off in order for us to keep going you know so you wish them yeah. well you know and then you keep going marching on forward now your recent song we, I want the audience to give them opportunity to see your latest, your latest song. Um, is it Hello? Or is I have it Hello? O I have Odo. Odo. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, 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 I played it earlier on, and I'm gonna get the audience opportunity to have a glimpse, but they can watch the full video later. Um, okay. um, I think let me play Odo. Let me play Odo, and then we'll come back to okay. to Hello. Uh, audience. Enjoy this uh, few seconds. Congratulations on that one. Thank it's you. amazing. You, now, you. I love the production, by the way, is great. Well, look at shot. Where, where was this shot? Where did you, Nigeria, Nigeria. or Europe? Nigeria. In Nigeria. Nigeria. Clarence, Peters, Clarence Peters shot it. Wow, amazing. Great. That, that is a great artwork there. I like the traditional attire that you guys wore. And there must be a story behind it. It looks like from, uh, from grass to grace kind of thing. Right. And an imagination that okay, mm. if I have money, like only your body, they're making me cool it down. And if I get money, I go take you around the world. 
So if I have money, that these are all the weddings we're gonna do. We're gonna just do different weddings, like everyone, everyone. <laughs> so wow! That's so I can imagine what you're gonna do with your, with your, you know, with your, you know. Yeah, I think yeah, you know. Know. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> There's no doubt you've been doing your gigs, you've been, you've been, you know, people getting ready and now they are buzzing you right now to come on, uh, to come on and, and go. Um, so we can't take a question on of our, um, okay. Now, what I want to know from you, from your perspective, someone who is in Nigeria and also in Europe, how easy is it to collaborate with other artists? Is it easy or is it a difficult thing no, to no. do? It's not, it's not, it's not easy at all because this, the A-list artists here, they are hardworking, they are always working. And mm -hmm. I, I can imagine myself, if me being an independent artist and I'm putting in so much work and putting in so much, so much uh, effort, so much money and everything into production. And finally, I get a boom. I know how I struggled. So it's definitely, my management is not going to take it lightly with anybody who's going to come for a future. So that's the same thing I think because all these A list artists they are okay, but they're no, it's gone off. I can't hear you. <clears throat> yes, yeah. these yeah. A list artists they are okay, but their management will never allow them to do things because mm. of what they've put in or what yeah. they've gone through. Yeah. So yeah. you have to be capable enough to meet up to their requirements before they can yeah. actually put you on the on, on, on the future. So it's not easy. So, well, you can. Hmm. Oh, it's breaking. Just it's breaking. Lucky you, see the artist. Yeah. you can just be lucky. You see the artist one on one, and you just have that love. They can work with you. Yeah. Are you signed up to any record deal uh, label right now, or you are independently sponsoring yourself? No, I'm, I'm, I'm independently sponsoring myself with my, with my whole uh, team. I have everybody come, everybody putting in that. Everybody hands on deck. Um, yes, everybody like well, even from for even Mom still save that same money in sometimes. For oh, <laughs> Mom, Mom C, did you so, hear that? So that's it. So now Mom so C had to hear this so. Uh, that's so sweet. We have to. We have to we uh, have that's to, a, so it's, it's all good. Everybody have to put it, put into it's it. Amazing. Good. Uh, it's it's so nice to yes. know that um, you've got you've got backup. Um, God has sent. Uh, I can see that God has sent people from all angles to be there for you. Now, what message yes. would you want to pass to anyone coming to the end of this? So that you can go on and do your gig tonight. Um, what message would you pass to anyone that is watching right now and they want to go into the music career? And they're not sure, and no one is pushing them, no one is encouraging them, uh, encouraging them to discover their purpose. What would you say? I'll just tell the person first and foremost, stay true to your stay true to yourself. Mm. You and you be focused. Just yeah. keep trying. You can make your what now is very is very easy. You can make a one minute video, post on your Instagram, tag as much as many people you can. So if you're actually creative and people see a difference in you. They will definitely follow you. That can bring you a good person who is going to support your dreams. Yeah. So don't stop. Just keep working. You know, see, if you don't advertise your thing to me, I'm not going to buy. Mm. So that's it. So you have to you have to advertise yourself. You have to sell yourself. You have to be at that street. You have to be everywhere. The best way you can, even without money, just do anything you can do. Yeah. Let people believe you. Yeah, make let, 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 let people discover you. Yeah. Okay. So, now I I know that we've got you your information, your social handle scrolling underneath there, but can you verbally tell your fans, tell people the audience how can they find you on social media? Okay, I know I'm gonna I know today after uh, this interview today with Tina Talk Show, I know I'm gonna be getting some ice army out of this show. So to my new yes. eyes army coming out from this show. I want to say thank you to you, but please, I would need you to follow me on this journey, and which is follow me on my Instagram handle at Icent Official, I C E N T O F F I C I A L, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my Facebook, and same 
on my YouTube, Iceland Official. So you can follow me, we can be on this journey together. And again, trust me, you're never going to regret it because I have a lot to offer. And this is... You certainly do. A superstar. You certainly do. Is there anyone, audience, follow him, you will not regret? That, that, that the songs that I gave you the clips of is just it's just a tip of the iceberg. There's so many out there. Follow him on all his social media handles, and you will not regret. Like he said, it's a great uh, it's a it's a superstar. Okay, you need to get to know him as well. Now, is there any um, would you like to give a shout out to your fans? I know you've mentioned a couple of people to your fans. You know, people who you want to give a shout out. to. Big shout, big shout out to the big shout out to the Ice Army, the people who are supporting me from day one. Big shout out oh, to man. everybody who believes me. Even those that don't, I know you will, because I'm still working to convince you to believe in me. So big oh, shout out to I like that. Big shout, <laughs> big shout out to my people, uh, Ukwa Entertainment, Afizi, Q Quest, uh, Vibeish, um, uh, my family. My family, everybody who has been on the same trap with me. Big shout out to Online Town. I love you. Thank you, thank you to everybody, to everybody. And again, please help me tell Tina Talk Show thank you because it's an amazing experience with her. Thank you so much for having me. It was an amazing discussion. And amazing thank you so much for that thank you so much um yes thank you thank you i'm going to round up now uh we've come to the um to the um to the end of this uh, amazing thank you so much for sharing your amazing story with, with us with the world you know like i always say you know what you share today is the beauty of what you are doing the beauty of who you are today you know so it's a great honor it's a great pleasure to have you. Yes, audience, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I, I hope that you have learned so much. You've taken something from this amazing talk today with uh, I Ascent, who has shared his amazing story. You never knew that he was a farmer, that he is a farmer. He was and still is a farmer. You never know that he even walked on the street. You didn't even know that he, you know, is such an amazing person, but today on Tina Talk Show, we have been able to discover this part of him, which is amazing. And like he said, follow him on his social media platform, you will not regret it, but it's so much packages, things that he's bringing to you, people that you guys, he does all the time, all night, whenever you play this movie. Again, I want to say thank you. And if you are watching me on YouTube, I want to say don't forget to subscribe because that way you always be the first when you win. Push the notification button, always be the first to be notified when my next all my and when my next amazing guest will, will come on the show. If you are watching me right now on Facebook, don't forget also to follow me, like and uh, like and um comment on the page. Also on Instagram, don't forget to also follow me out there, okay? Until next time, bye.